Hello and welcome to this little bonus video on the GS Johnny channel. So this is just a nice wee simple video I thought we'll do because uh, the Euros is on. So I thought, why not? We'll, we'll do a little prediction video on the Euros. Um, so currently the Euros have actually started by the time of this recording. I have just finished watching the Wales and Switzerland game. So, so far, if you're unaware, Turkey has been beaten by Italy 3-0. Switzerland have drew 1-1 with Wales. And at the current minute, as I'm recording this, Denmark is actually playing Finland. And that is 19 minutes in. So, not too many games have kicked off. But we're going to go in and we're going to predict to see what happens. And in a couple of weeks, when the Euros is over, we'll come back and laugh at how poor I predicted. <laughs> So as you can see here, we have a few tables of each group for the Euros. My plan is just to, just to rank them how I think they'll, they'll go. And I have a wee bit of insider knowledge since I know the results of a few, but I'm going to just try and put them to one side and we'll, we'll, go in, we'll go into it. For Group A, I do believe that Italy will place first in their group. Definitely not because of the 1-3-0 or anything. <laughs> As for second place, I think it's going to be quite a close turn up between Wales and Switzerland. Um, it, it, I am going to put Switzerland in second though. And I think I'm going to place Wales into third and put Turkey down in fourth. That is going to be my predictions for Group A. But now we're going to move on to Group B. So for Group B, I think I'm going to start with the team that I will be supporting. I usually support them uh, in Euros and in World Cups is Belgium. I am actually Irish, so, you know, Ireland's one appearance of each in seven tournaments. <laughs> I will be supporting Ireland, but usually as my sort of background team, I do like Belgium. I, I have we placed my heart for Belgium, so I, I'm going to put them at the top of their group. Uh, now, I do think this is going to be quite tricky because I do rate Denmark and Russia quite well. Um, I do think Finland have a good team as well. There's a few good players. Pukki in there as well, top. I can definitely get a few goals. But I think I'm going to go for a sneaky one. To, I'm going to put Russia in second. And I'm going to put Denmark in third. And apologies to Finland, but I am going to put you into fourth. But again, I do, I do think that's quite a well-rounded group. I think Belgium is a wee bit ahead of them all. But I think it's a well-rounded group. I, th I think it's quite a good group to be in, to be honest. Any of them teams, I think, could finish in, in first or second, really. Uh, it just depends how, how the games go. Uh, so that's what I think I'll do for Group B. We'll move on to Group C. So hello, you little GS Johnny Stinkers. Uh, so I'm currently just, you know, editing uh, that video that you're watching right now. And uh, I'm watching Belgium versus Russia as well. I just need to say Russia are absolutely stinking. I don't know. I just don't know what's happened to them since last time I watched them play. They're so poor. Um, Belgium's definitely going to win the Euros all the same. They're my boys. Come on! But with you seeing the end of this video about my actual predictions according to what you'll see in the rest of this video. So, you know, big up to that. Um, good luck, Christian Eriksen. Love you long time. Mwah. So for Group C, we have Netherlands, of course. So straight off the bat, I'm going to put them up top. I do think they're probably one of the big contenders in the Euros. Um... You know, there's just such a good squad. It's a shame Virgil van Dijk isn't there. If Virgil van Dijk isn't there, I wouldn't have a doubt of, the, of them winning it. But I still think even without Virgil van Dijk, they have, they have a nice squad. So I'm going to put them in first. For second place, I'm going to take a risk and put in Austria. Now, they're just, I don't know, I've always sort of backed Austria to sort of do well. And they've always let me down. <laughs> they've always let me down. But do you know what? No, they've, they've a nice wee squad. They've some decent players. I, I am then going to just use Ukraine and North Macedonia for third and fourth. I'm not really too sure how their squads are gonna are gonna play. Um, as far as teams and players are going, I don't really know too much about either of them. Really, uh, Ukraine. To be honest, I don't really know much about either of their teams. So this is really just disrespectful for me from from a, a negligent point of view. But anyway, we'll move on to Group D. An interesting one now, Group D. Yes, so now we move on to Group D, which is quite an interesting one, as there is two United Kingdom teams in this, Scotland and England. Um, so we have Croatia and Czech Republic as the other two teams. Two very good teams. Uh, Croatia, of course, very, very, very strong. Uh, Czech Republic, I am quite a fan of the country. Um, the team is good, strong, hardworking, determined um very tough group to be in though uh so my rankings for this is going to be croatia first i am going to put england second and a tough one a very very tough one but i am going to put scotland third and czech republic fourth now that could be very very risky i do have a lot of faith in scotland i do think they're going to do well 
Andy Robertson, of course, is close to my heart, being a Liverpool fan. But for now, it's just a prediction. I'm probably going to be wrong. But group D, that's what we have for Group D. But we'll move on to Group E now. Group A, we have Poland, Spain, Sweden, and Slovakia. So, I do think this is quite a hard group. Uh, so, I am going to start with Slovakia down on fourth, because it's just such a... Don't worry about that. You don't need to worry about what that was. <laughs> I am going to start with putting Slovakia down on fourth, because I think this is quite a hard group. I'm actually not too sure of what I'm going to do for first, second, and third. Um, I think I'm going to move Spain to first. I think... And as for Sweden and Poland, I honestly have no idea. This is going to be quite a contested group. Um, I am going to put Sweden into second and take a risk and put Poland on the third, which is probably absolutely crazy. I know, I know, but I just have a bit of a feeling that it might, it might just go that way. And now on to the group of death, group F. So we have Portugal, France, Germany and Hungary. Again, sorry Hungary, but I'm going to have to put you into fourth just purely because of the quality of the other three teams into, into this group. Germany, France and Portugal. Honestly, this could go anywhere depending on any team. Going on, on previous form, of course, um, I'm going to go with France at, at first. I, um, I have a feeling that they could... They could just snatch it. They're such a strong, strong team. I'm going to follow with Germany in second and Portugal in third. And I know for a fact Cristiano Ronaldo will mug me off right now and Portugal will probably finish first. But I think I'll leave it like, like that for now and see what happens. So now we move on to the interesting part. So now we have to predict our best third place team who we think will be the best, score the most points because they will also progress. We get four picks out of six teams. So I think what I will do is I'm going to go Portugal, Poland. I'm going to go with Wales. No, no, I'm not I'm not going to go with Wales. I'm going to go Scotland and Denmark. That's what I've decided. Scotland and Denmark. That is my predictions for now. So now we're going to move on to the knockout stage. So here we are on the knockout stage. Now, this is, of course, the round of 16. So we have a bit of a, bit of a knockout table here where we can just progress the team that we think will win and it'll move them into the next round so between belgium and portugal <sighs> again i have to go with belgium because that's for personal reasons but again portugal very very good cristiano ronaldo does what cristiano ronaldo wants <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna back belgium for this purely for personal reasons so i'm gonna go with belgium italy and austria i i think it's very very clear i'm gonna go with italy um no disrespect again to Austria, but I just think Italy has such a strong, strong team. And clearly we all know from the very first game, which has already occurred, as I told you, they have won 3-0. So off the back of that, which I'm not, I'm not using, I, I I swear to God, I'm, I'm not using that as an advantage to my picks on the predictions. <laughs> but yes, we move on to the next one and we have France and Denmark. So I'm going to go for France purely because France is just such a strong outfit. They're such a good team. That's who I'm going to pick. Between Sweden and England, I'm going to go for England. Between Spain and Scotland, I'm going to go for Spain. And between Croatia and Germany, I think this this could be quite a very good game if, if of course, it does happen. There's no guarantee this, this will. I think I'm going to have to back Croatia. A bit of a controversial one, but Germany has been very, very poor, poor as a, in the last few tournaments. They've been poor, so... I'm going to go for an upset and I'm going to go for, for Croatia. Uh, again, Croatia is very good as well, so it wouldn't be too much of a surprise, but that's what we're going for. Uh, as I say, I'm a big fan of Netherlands, so I think Netherlands will progress. And then between Switzerland and Russia, which actually might be quite a nice wee matchup if it does, does come along, I think I am going to go and back Russia for that one. And now we're into the quarterfinals, which brings us down to the last eight teams. So we're getting very close to the final now. So one of these teams will be our Euros winner predictions. So again, between Italy and Belgium will be a very, 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 very good game. Um, I feel like I should be now putting my personal opinion to one side, uh, as in I do support Belgium. If it comes to a situation where it's Belgium and Italy, in the current occasion, I think I'm going to go with Italy. But when the time comes, you never know. I want to see how Belgium start to play and I, I, hopefully they don't let me down. So we're going to go with Italy and I'm going to back France to beat England. Uh, I think England will bottle it. Um, I think we all, we all expect that, but who knows? You never know. They can surprise us all. 
Uh, I'm going to go for France to take out England. Whoa, that sounded like a world war was about to happen. Jesus Christ, I need to watch what I'm saying. <laughs> France go take out England. Oh, God. Anyway, on to the next round of, of games. Uh, we have Spain versus Croatia. And again, uh, back in Croatia big time here. I think they're going to take, take out Spain if, if that game did occur. Um, so Croatia, I'm backing for the Croatia versus Spain game if it happens, of course. Netherlands versus Russia would be the other game going by my predictions. So I'm going to go for Netherlands to beat Russia. We are into the semi-finals now and this is where our finalists will be decided. Now this is where it's going to get very, very tricky to decide. Italy and France, it's going to be such a good game if that happens. Oh, I don't know. But I think I'm going to back France for that one. Uh, again, they're going to get another final, in my opinion. Uh, I could see that happening. I'm going to go for a bit of an upset. And I'm going to go with Netherlands. I think Netherlands will probably knock out Croatia. I think Croatia will just run a bit out of steam at that stage. Again, all of that Virgil van Dijk, it would be quite interesting if this happened. But that's my prediction. So our finalists would be France and Netherlands if it was going by my judgment. Which, to be honest, now that I look at it, it just seems absolutely ridiculous. I don't think that is going to happen. But my pick, we're here anyway, and this is my prediction. So the winner of the Euros 2020... I think will be France. I think it will be France. Uh, I think they're going to win another trophy, which would be quite a shock. I'm not going to lie. Coming to look at it, I don't even think these two will be in the final. I don't know how I've ended up with these two guys as my predictions in the final. But look, it's all a bit of fun. And I'm going to be very interested to see what my reaction is going to be when I see the results of this. But yes, this was just a wee extra fun video. I'm not too sure when this is going to be uploaded. Hopefully, I'll, I'll get it up nice and soon for you guys to enjoy. Yes, so what I wanted to say was I wanted to give a thank you to everyone on the channel at the minute. The channel has been absolutely amazing. We had 100 subscribers recently. We shot up to like 104 not long after. Um, it's been great. Uh, our latest Eating Challenge video has done so, so well. The watch time one, it's amazing. You guys have been loving it. I got so many positive comments. I got so much positive feedback on it. Thank you to everyone who's sharing the videos because I can see, I can see it happening. It's great. Just please keep sharing the videos, keep getting it out there, and the content will get so much better with time. I think we're doing really good at the minute. Keep it going, guys, because it's it's looking really, really good. Thank you for all the support, and I really appreciate it. Dad! It's hard to get the start off these days, isn't it? Right, yes. So we have Papa GS here. Um, so he's going to give us his prediction. Who do you think will win the Euros this year? What team do you, do you back? You can have a look, well, yeah. Do you want to see the, the whole groups? Or do you want to see... No, just give me a quick little rundown of them. Well, this is my last sort of... This is my last 16 yeah. teams. So yeah. if you want to have a look, who do you think? Now, you're on camera now, so... Yeah. yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey, hey, folks. Okay, let me see. Uh, I think Germany. You think Germany's going to win? I, I, I put Germany to get knocked out in the round of 16. I think it's going to be an upset. Because in my predictions, Croatia would play Germany. And I thought Croatia might actually take out Germany. But now this is my predictions. This isn't guaranteed to happen. Them two might not even play. No. Do you know what I mean? So Mine's you think Germany then? Between Germany and Holland. That's Germany and Netherlands. Yeah, well, Netherlands was in my final as well. So that's my two. You think Germany or Netherlands? So there you go. There you go. Put it this way. The final for me is Germany and Holland. Germany and Holland. There you go. Well, there, there's Papa GS's right. pr final prediction. That's Papa GS's. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go right, right in, enjoy your night. day over a night right see you later see you later well there you go folks there you go there's my predictions for the Euro 2020 uh, you also got Papa GS's predictions as well my dad he thinks Germany and Netherlands will be in the final and Germany will win so thank you very much for watching this video keep sharing keep liking send this video to your friends and tell them to subscribe and on that note I'll see you in the next one Uh, by the way, I'm literally only making this video because I got a new phone and I wanted to test out the camera. Yes, GS Shelly's getting extra camera angles. Three! We've got three camera angles. Up the boys! <laughs>